Hi there and uh, welcome to the woods, to the autumn woods. And I don't want to ruin your day, but today we will, <laughs> we will talk about anger. Because what if we could erase anger from our lives? How would that be? How much better would our lives be if we could remove anger? How much more peace would we have in our lives if we removed anger? And as you know, anger has a very broad spectrum. It ranges from being from slight irritation all the way up to fury and hatred. And when anger has taken control of your mind, it is very hard to get rid of. It's very hard to stop. It's almost uncontrollable. But there are some ways to stop, to stop anger before it takes control. I will light my fire and um, have a cup of coffee with you. The main problem with anger is that with anger we lose our ability to make, to think. We lose our ability to uh, plan. We lose our ability to make good judgments. That is lost when we are angry. Uh, Seneca, who is a Stoic philosopher, he said that anger will turn us into animals. Because with anger we are governed by our instincts. We lose everything that is considered human traits. Our reasoning, our ability to plan, make judgments based on actual events, we lose all that. So, we are basically turned into to animals. And he said that anger is the worst of all um, human traits. To understand how we can, can stop or control anger before it controls you. We have to break anger apart. We have to break this emotion apart uh, and look at every step. And we can break it down. We can break anger down to three steps. Number one, let's say I, um, I drop my cup of coffee here. And I immediately feel an instinct that I cannot control. I get angry. Or I feel a sensation of anger. That's the first instinct. Uh, step two, that's where our judgment comes in. Um, and in step two, we um, verify this feeling that I have been harmed. I have to seek revenge. This is not good. That is step two. Number three, anger takes over. You are angry. Um, in step three, you have verified this event as harmful. Um, and uh, you become angry. And you cannot do, in step three, you cannot do anything about 
you cannot, you cannot control it. So you have to stop uh, anger at step one or two. Now comes what I think is the most interesting part here, where you can actually choose not to be angry. Uh, let's say I drop my, let's say I drop my cup of coffee. I hope I won't, but let's say I drop it. And I feel this immediate instinct. Between this first stimuli, this first emotion, this first instinct of uh, I have been harmed, step one, and your response, there is a space. And in this space, we can choose how to react. Now, a problem with anger is that sometimes it's just, it goes like, like that. From step one to three in just two seconds or a fraction of a second. And therefore, the best antidote to anger is delay. Delay your judgment about the event. Delay your judgment about the event. This way of thinking helps me that you can delay your judgments. You have to stop anger at the symptoms of anger. As Seneca said, you had to a Stoic philosopher, he said that you have to stop anger at the city gates because when anger has entered the city gates, <laughs> your mind, you cannot stop it. So, thank you very much for watching and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.